Throughout Jesus' three-year ministry here on earth, he healed the sick, turned water into wine, and even raised people from the dead. But when asked by the Pharisees for a proof as him as the Messiah, he gave but one sign, the sign of Jonah. What is the sign of Jonah? Find out more on this episode of Catholic Meanings. Jonah was a prophet 900 years before Christ in the northern kingdom of Israel. He was called by God to preach repentance to Nineveh, the capital of the Assyrian Empire, and fierce rival to the ancient Israelites. Jonah, in his fearfulness of the Ninevites, flees on boat to Tarshish. But during a violent storm, Jonah tosses himself overboard and is then swallowed by a large fish where he stays for three days. After he is spat up, he is commanded by God to arise and preach to Nineveh. Despite his short speech, the entire city manages to convert and repents to the God of Israel. Now that we know the story of Jonah, let's get into the sign of Jonah. In the book of Matthew, the Pharisees ask Jesus for a sign. Jesus says that there will be no sign but the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days. When simply looking at it, we can see a somewhat similar allegory. Three days in the belly of the fish, in three days in the heart of the earth. But when looking at the story of Jonah, this allegory goes deeper. Many skeptics of the story like to argue, how could a man survive three days in the belly of a fish? Looking at the story, it seems they are correct. In Jonah chapter 2, verse 2, he says, In my distress I called out to the Lord, and he answered me. From the belly of Sheol I called for help, and you heard my voice. Sheol in the Hebrew Bible refers to the realm of the dead. Therefore Jonah died in the fish. And when he was spat out, God said to Jonah, Arise. In Hebrew, this is kum. This is the same word that Jesus said to the little girl when he raised her from the dead. He said, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, arise. So we can conclude that Jonah was dead in the belly of the fish for three days until God rose him up again, just as Jesus was dead for three days and was resurrected. The sign of Jonah doesn't only include the resurrection, but also the conversion of pagans. Jonah goes to the city of Nineveh where he converts the pagans to repent to the God of Israel, just as Jesus commands his disciples to go and spread the gospel to all the nations, who were, at the time, pagan. By the 4th century, Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire. That is almost all of Europe and North Africa. A continent that practiced paganism for hundreds and hundreds of years managed to worship the God of Israel in less than 300. And we still see pagans around the world in places like Africa and Asia converting to worship the God of Israel. Before our very eyes, the sign of Jonah is still being fulfilled. Thank you for watching this episode of Catholic Meanings. I hope you learned something new, and God bless.